What's up YouTube? I'm the Calcara 131 and in this video we're going to be torture testing a Streamlight TLR1HL. So if any of you are new and you missed the video I did two weeks ago, which will be linked right up here, I recommend you go check that one out. Basically that kind of explains the reason I'm doing this video. Uh, basically some uh, Lucas Botkin, CEO of T-Rex Arms, he took a cheap shot at Olight owners and I wanted to uh, do a torture test on a Olight PL Pro just to see how durable it is. If you want to see how well that one did, go watch the other video, please. It was a lot of fun. Spoiler alert, it did a lot better than I thought it would. But in that, on that Instagram post that uh, Lucas did, the number one thing he said and a lot of other people said, why would you buy Olight when Streamlight exists? You know, it's an American company. It's uh, more time tested. They claim it's more durable. They say it's more proven, yada, yada, speaking the praises of Streamlight. And I said, okay. So I tested the Olight PL Pro. Again, check out that video. But it occurred to me that testing doesn't really mean anything if you don't have something to compare it to. Okay, so we're going to put the Streamlight TLR1HL through basically the same exact testing. So stage one of my durability testing is a Traxxas test. Traxxas test, for those of you that don't know, is basically where I, oh, here we go again. If you saw the Olight video, you're gonna know this is gonna be a bitch. A Traxxas test is where I take whatever I'm reviewing, the TLR1HL, which does work for the record, uh, I tether it up behind my one of my Traxxas RC trucks, in this case the Traxxas Hoss, and I run it over this range, which is mostly gravel. Unfortunately, farther down there, as you should be able to see, they've allowed some grass to grow, fortunately, but it's still mostly just compacted gravel, a lot of rocks, a lot of impacts, a lot of jarring, and uh, we see how it handles that, okay? Now, if those of you, if some of you didn't watch my first video, I'm going to say the same thing. I don't want you thinking that this is some like cheap Walmart RC truck, okay? Come on. The Traxxas Haas 4x4 VXL is $500. It can do like 50 miles an hour in its current gearing. So, it's a pretty serious RC truck, all right? And we're gonna see how the Streamlight TLR1HL will do going up and down this uh, gravel range. <laughs> oh. oh no. Fucker. We're still good. It flipped, but don't worry about it. Oh, everything is going wrong. The light came undone. And one of my shocks broke. God, the things I do for you, you people, please subscribe. Damn it. Oh, I don't remember exactly. I think we got one more pass up and down to do. That's what I'm going to give it anyway. It came undone, that's why. I already got a little peek there at the TLR1HL. <laughs> Streamlight fanboy's going to be mad. If they saw the last Olight video, they are anyway. Right, just one more pass. Come on. I'm risking my $500 hoss with 
one blown shock for you guys. Oh, we're still good. And we lost the fucking light again. So, the light does still work, for the record. We're still, it's still functional. But, if any of you saw the O-Light test, you will know the O-Light kind of held up better, because it did not get a cracked lens. But, to be totally fair, it does still work. All right, stage two for my durability testing is going to be, oh, hey, running it over with my Silverado. So, see how it does. I missed it the second time. And he's run over again, twice. <laughs> All right. And that's it. She done. Oh no, we're back. We're back. Had to pop it up, pop the battery cable off or back battery case off, but we're still good. We're still up. All right, we come to stage three of my durability testing, which is gonna be drop testing. So the TLR1, we're still working. Man, would you stop doing that? We are still up. We're still working. So, that's good. Had a couple stumbles. Had a stumble here and there. The lens is cracked, but it's still there. And I had to pop the battery uh, cover off and put it back on to make it work after I ran it over. But, it's unloaded. But, we're still up. Okay? Now, we're going to test drop testing. Normally, for drop testing, if it was like a weapon light or a, like a long gun light or a optic, I would just set the rifle on the ground and drop it. I don't think that would do much on a pistol. So we're going to forego that and go straight to roughly waist height drops. I'm about 5'8", so figure out how high that is. Still working. Try and angle this one a bit. I think that was a little above waist high, but we're still working. Do a side drop. Still working. I think that was above waist high again, but shoulder height. Still working. Angled shoulder high. Still working. Side drop, shoulder high. Oh God. The things I do for you people, and I cracked my, my optic a little bit, but the, light, the stream light is still working. So, that is those three stages, Traxxas test, running it over, and drop testing, comprise my basic durability testing. You know, I'm of the opinion, if it can survive all three of those and still work, it's probably durable enough. You know, I'm not trying to evaluate optics or weapon lights or gear to see if they're durable enough to survive SEAL Team 6. I'm a civilian, basically. 
So if it can survive those three stages, I think it should be it should be more than durable enough for the use that any use I'm going to put it through, basically. And the stream light does still work. So did the O light. So we moved to some more uh, drastic testing. If you watched the O light video, you're going to be familiar with this here uh, divider wall between these two ranges. Even if you didn't watch the other video, you can probably uh, extrapolate what's going to happen next. Let's see how the Streamlight TLR1HL does against a wall. Still works. <laughs> It still works, but uh, lens is real messed up there. Still working though, hey, it still works. Battery compartment, battery compartment kind of came undone. Snapper back in place, still going, still going. I forget if for the uh, the PL Pro Lite, the, uh, the Olight version of this test, you should have watched by now. I don't remember if I did three or four throws, but hey, it's streamlight quality. So I'm gonna do four, and that was only two. That'd be that. There was another part somewhere. It's a shotgun shell. Good job, buddy. I don't know where the other part went. I'm missing the battery. Back in the shade here after my tragic testing. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of those cleanse uh, light or lens protectors from Thyrum. It's probably, I didn't even know about that. I forgot about that. That might be why that lens stayed attached so well. But, well, there's an inner lens in there. There's, there's a dual lens, so that's, that's nice. Then you move around to the back and uh, not so nice. Maybe that's why it didn't do as well as it did. It's a surefire battery and a streamlight weapon light. Maybe they just didn't they didn't like each other. So I uh, I got to say, color me surprised. Oh, yeah, surprised as hell to be honest. The TLR1 HL from Streamlight. Despite, remember in the beginning of this video, I talked about Lucas Botkin, he made that Instagram post. Everyone was saying that you should never buy Olight when you can buy Streamlight. It's more durable, it's more proven, it's American quality. In this one test, at least, this is not the end all be all, admittedly. The PL Pro, you can't mount it on a gun anymore, but it still works. The TLR1 HL, not so much. So, this little battle of the budget lights, I guess you could say. Uh, <laughs> people are going to be pissed. The Olight PL Pro was very clearly the winner. I don't have any other... <clears throat> don't have any other way to describe it. I did essentially the exact same testing on both. The PL Pro works, the Streamlight TLR1HL does not. If you enjoyed the video, you found it entertaining or informative, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of the Streamlight TLR1HL's uh, turn to go through the gauntlet, as it were. Did you think it did, did you expect it to do better? Are you surprised it did this well? Are you, 
uh, Streamlight fanboy and you're pissed off that I did this dirtier than the, the Olight, uh, tell me in the comments below, please. But Streamlight clearly lost this one. I'm the Calcar 131, signing off.